I, I just I got my laptop stolen out of my car last night, and I gotta oh, call no. the police before God, I forget. Man. Just, just hold on one second here. Sure, sure. Hello, Mr. Walker. Hey, uh, this is James Smartwood from Big News. Do you have a second to chat? And what paper are you with now? It's uh, it's Big News. Basically, what I wanted to do was I wanted to report a crime. Uh, I left my window down in my car last night. Someone stole my laptop out of the passenger seat, and so I'm just trying to figure out if there's any way in your, you know, as someone who is a law enforcement person, uh, if there's any way you could take a look at it. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do is uh, we'll report the thing and, and, uh, and all that and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be great, but what we'll do is you've got a number I can call? Uh, yeah, sure. One second. It's... Uh, Wait, 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 let me get this. Sure. Now, I mean, if, if it is something you could take care of, is it something where you could go down there and kind of get some fingerprints, check out the, the security cameras and all that? You said, you said Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, five, six. Five, zero, three, zero. But the, you know, I'm just trying to, the main thing, though, is I want to get to this laptop. Is there any chance you could hop in the squad car, you know, flick on the siren, come down here, and maybe, like, go undercover or something? Uh, what can you do? Can you do anything? No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not actually in, you know, I think that's, I don't have the authority. Let me, uh, let me call you then. There's no here. Call that up. sounds great. All right, thank you, sir. I gave him the wrong number. I don't want him having my number. You just listened to a real prank call made by James Smartwood, one of the cartoon anchors from Stephen Colbert's Tuning Out the News show on Paramount. And if you haven't seen it, the show is hilarious. It's really underrated. And it's one of my favorite, I, I think, political shows. And it's very daily show circa 2010-esque. And I would highly recommend it to everyone. But they were obviously clowning on Herschel Walker because of his honorary sheriff badge that he apparently carries with him everywhere. Now, as we talked about earlier in the week, that badge confers no real authority onto Herschel Walker, despite his claims that it does. And as the New York Times explains, Georgia sheriffs were seriously handing out those badges like candy in a candy dish. J. Tom Morgan, a former district attorney in DeKalb County, Georgia, who was elected as a Democrat, said in an interview on Saturday, that badge gives you no law enforcement authority. He doesn't have the power to write a traffic ticket. Now, what I love about that call is, one, Herschel Walker did not seem to realize that it was a prank call. Uh, and two, there was a moment there where Herschel Walker asks Smartwood, well, can you do anything about your stolen laptop? And then Smartwood had the best response saying, um, well, no, I mean, I'm not actually, you know, I don't have the authority. To which Herschel Walker then is reminded, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be pretending to be a cop. So I guess I should do something. Let me get back to this individual. So is Herschel Walker actually making calls to try to investigate this stolen laptop? Is he calling his buddies in the police department? It's just I, I want to know what's happening behind the scenes. Just the fact that he was seriously taking down this individual's name who's coming to him with a real criminal matter. I just, I love it. It shows you how delusional Herschel Walker is. He actually believes that his honorary sheriff badge gives him real authority. Now, believe it or not, that wasn't the only time that Herschel Walker was clowned this week. So back in June, we learned that Herschel Walker fathered multiple children that he later abandoned, and even his own son, Christian Walker, called him out via Twitter. Take a look. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people. He has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? Now, Christian Walker later tweeted, wear a condom, damn. So Herschel Walker has been taking L after L after L. Now, along those lines, uh, comedian Jason Selvig of The Good Liars decided to actually assist Herschel Walker and do what his son or try to get him to do what his son is recommending and he tweeted out we tried to give Herschel Walker condoms today for obvious reasons now the moment where he tries to give Herschel Walker a fat roll of condoms was actually captured by the recount there's no audio here so you can't actually hear what they're saying I'm sure that the good liars is going to release the full video here soon um, and I muted it because there's copyrighted music playing but just watch the exchange because as you can see Herschel Walker wasn't necessarily taking kindly to the uh <laughs> the implication <laughs> of the role of condoms just watch
Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. How embarrassing. Imagine trying to be a serious politician, failing at trying to be serious or trying to seem serious, mind you. But you just keep taking L after L and all of your dirty laundry has been aired. I mean, if you're going to get into politics, you've got to know that these things are going to come up. And if you're someone like Herschel Walker that just has this gigantic list of secrets, of skeletons in your closet, you've got to know that running for public office would be an embarrassment to you. But the funny thing is that it's not out of the question that he wins because he is at the moment, according to the last poll that I checked, still statistically tied with his Democratic opponent, Raphael Warnock. And the fact that this is even a close race really is embarrassing. Now, the good news is that the abortion story has apparently put a dent into Herschel Walker's support because a small percentage of evangelicals who were previously supporting Herschel Walker decided that the hypocrisy on the issue of abortion was a little bit too much. But still, considering how disastrous that story was for him, you think that his support would have been further affected, right? But not necessarily, because this is the world that we live in, where Republican supporters don't necessarily base who they're going to vote for on policy whatsoever. It's just about who's part of their tribe. Either way, I wanted to share this more lighthearted story with you because I know that the election season can be a little bit draining. I feel election fatigue myself, but stories like this kind of help to lighten the mood a little bit and just, I don't know, make us smile, which I think is necessary during these dark times. So there you have it, Herschel Walker taking L after L this week as well and you just you love to see it i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i built a successful chicken business i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i don't talk like a politician i built a successful chicken business i don't talk like a politician